Just in time for a fire that came dangerously close to homes, this fire hall became fully manned. Uh, this area, as we, we saw just a few weeks ago, is prone to, uh, to having risk of, of interface wildfire. So having this crew up and running for our summer season was, uh, was important to us. It's pretty easy to see what's happening around BC right now. And certainly anytime we get a, a, an interface fire or a grass fire that gets, uh, gets moving towards homes, uh, every moment counts. And so if we can shave a couple minutes off our response to get there and get water on it, we can contain a fire to a, to a much smaller perimeter than if, if, we, if it takes us that longer time to get there. So, you know, in, in the case of the Yates fire, certainly having the Glenmore engine uh, certainly assisted us in getting there in a more timely fashion. So the Glenmore Hall has been in this community for a number of years and been well served by volunteers and paid on call members of the Kelowna Fire Department. We converted this to a career hall combined with the volunteers. So we still have community members volunteering and supporting uh, the fire department in this hall, but we now have a full-time four-member engine company operating out here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, it's critical. It, it, it allows for a much faster response time. It gives a guaranteed, uh, no matter whether what time of day or night, uh, we have an immediate response that's able to quickly get to uh, further reaches of our community than we were able to get to before. This hall generally serves the Glenmore area over to UBC and, and along Glenmore Road, of course, and uh, and down you know towards Dilworth, where it meets up with Engine 1 or Engine 2's areas. Generally during the day when there's multiple incidents occurring, uh, we move the pieces around as needed. Uh, there were a lot of people that were happy to see us moving in this direction. And this community, this part of the community, obviously is going through quite a bit of growth, and uh, so it, it did seem to be well appreciated. Right. Residents can now rest assured that this fire hall is manned a full time around the clock protecting the community. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly at the Glenmore Fire Hall.